News flash. A high-profile ambush shocks Quezon City, Philippines, as the vehicle of the Bureau of Corrections Director General Gregorio Catapong Jr. becomes the target of unknown assailants. Yet, in a turn of events that left the nation breathless, no casualties were reported. This is a story of a narrow escape and the resilience of law enforcement. It was an ordinary day on the 19th of March, 2024. The Director General's vehicle, a sturdy Toyota Hilux, was maneuvering the bustling streets of Quezon City. Behind the wheel was security escort CO1 Cornelio Colalong, with CO1 Leonardo Cabanero riding shotgun. Their mission? To pick up Al Pereiras, the Bureau's Deputy Director General, and presumably continue the day's duties. However, fate had other plans. As they navigated the city, they were being shadowed by a protective Innova, driven by CSO2 Edwin Baroya and CO2 Michael Magsanok. An extra layer of security, an essential safeguard in these uncertain times. But even the best laid plans can go awry. Without warning, their journey was drastically interrupted. The Director General's vehicle was ambushed. The assailants, unknown. The motive, undetermined. But as the smoke cleared, a silver lining emerged. Despite the audacious attack, no one was hurt. The tight-knit security team had managed to escape the ambush unscathed, a testament to their training and quick thinking. This incident, while alarming, also serves as a reminder of the risks our law enforcement officers face each day. It brings to light the courage and tenacity they exhibit in the face of danger. And it underscores the need for continued vigilance, not just from our officers, but from every citizen. In conclusion, the attempted ambush of Bucor Director General Gregorio Catapang Jr.'s vehicle is a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurk in the shadows. But it is also proof of the resilience of our law enforcement and the strength of their commitment to their duty. In the face of adversity, they stood unbroken, their spirits undeterred. This is not just a news story, but a narrative of resilience, courage, and an unyielding commitment to duty.